nurse re reported her missing it was right around 6.30 p.m. Right now, the search continues for Summer Wells, the missing five-year-old girl from Rogersville. And breaking news this afternoon, that endangered child alert now upgraded to an Amber Alert by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Five-year-old Summer Wells has not been seen since last night. Agents from both the TBI and the FBI are investigating along with local authorities. Wells is roughly three feet tall, weighing 40 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing gray pants and a pink shirt. Now, she was reportedly last seen outside of her home in the area of Ben Hill Road and Beach Creek Road. Both crews have been searching on foot and with helicopters since last night. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer, I'll be back. And within two minutes I came back. Me, essentially, uh, where the boys were sitting, they were sitting right there at that table uh, looking at that TV, uh, playing video games. Um, Summer went down into the basement. She's pointing to this, uh, you know, table here that has a basically a crawl space into it. Uh, and down into that crawl space uh, goes down into the parents and Summer's room. Uh, and I asked the boys where their sister was, and they said she went downstairs, mom, to play with her toys in the playroom. I said okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times, and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check, and she was nowhere in sight. Chris, because that, so this is the only way to get to Summer's and the parents' room is through this crawl space. Right. So when her mother come in, she says, well, Summer, she went down in the basement. She didn't answer, so she went down there, and she was gone. So she went out the basement door, which was a lot. And we have a single sense. Good afternoon. I'm Leslie Earhart with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. We had hoped to have good news to share with you by now, but unfortunately, we do not. The search for five-year-old Summer Wells remains ongoing. Today, teams continue to search the area around Ben Hill Road, and officers and agents continue to follow up on any leads that come in. Many have asked how they can assist with the search. At this time, we are not asking for volunteers to assist. What we are asking is for residents to continue to share photos of Summer and information from credible sources. We know you have a lot of questions about the search area and the process. For that reason, Sheriff Lawson has arranged for, for Captain Tim Coop to elaborate on those efforts. I wish we could have better news than we do now. We've utilized ground crews of 80 to 100 people of trained professionals. Aerial aviation search, both visual and FLIR. Medical THB and TBI assisting us with fixed wing. Multiple drones and four different canine units. Uh, the day that she had went missing, we searched from the time of notification until dark. I'm sorry that they had to spend so many man hours in these woods and everything. I've seen them limping and everything else, you know, and I feel for them. But... We searched all day yesterday, 
resume this morning, continue on throughout the rest of our operational period, utilizing multiple ground crews, drones, fixed wing, and also helicopter with canines on standby. We have currently covered at this time at one mile from the residents last seen by ground and dog. Hopefully by the end of the day, we will have covered two ground miles. Well, she wandered off. Why did somebody not see her? This part of the community, the residents are very spread out. At this time, we are not asking for any public and or volunteers to assist in the search. As we've stated before, the circumstances surrounding Summer's disappearance remain unclear. So if we do develop information that she was taken and we develop a suspect and a vehicle description, of course, we will share that with the public immediately. Her parents reported her missing right around 6.30 p.m. But when was she, did, they, did they say when she was last seen? I know that she was reported missing around that time, but was she last seen earlier in the afternoon or in the day even? That time is very because they were searching for their child herself. Of course, the longer this goes, the more concerned we get. At this stage, we've received nearly 50 leads. None have panned out so far. Who does Summer live with, and is there any history with this family with law enforcement or anything that you're aware of? Sure. Summer lived with her parents and three siblings. Are these her biological parents, mother and father? Yes, ma'am. The father has some, some, a criminal history. Can you elaborate on that? I don't have it with me. Everybody's a person of interest till we find Summer. The most important thing is is fine summer. That's what it's all about. That's why we're doing the ground searches, the aerial searches, and finding her is first and foremost. Are you concerned that this could be an abduction at this point after so much time has passed? Everything's on the table. I mean, we're, we're looking at everything, crossing every T, dotting every I, and turning every stone. Law enforcement's operation is to look into this incident and find summer. The father's criminal record irrelevant in this investigation? No, sir. I've also heard there's been speculation of the siblings in the household. Just wasn't sure if you're able to elaborate on the siblings at all. They have, th they have three others besides Simon. Please let Summer be okay. And please come home. Some bad person grabbed her, but we have no idea. We're trying to think and beat her brains out. We've covered everything that we can think of already. It's been rough, but we know, you know, we believe in the resurrection. It's been rough, but we know, you know, we believe in the resurrection. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. She was just gone. Well, whoever has my daughter, I pray and hope that they have not harmed her and they bring her back to us safe and sound. I mean, go to the FBI, the police, and uh, clear it up. I mean, I don't know, it seems kind of elusive. She was a tomboy. I shaved my head. She wanted to have her head shaved like me and the boys did. She tried to shave her head. She tried in to the shave back her head and, herself. and make it, uh, I think you can see it in some of the pictures. And it was getting out of control. So she, we decided to shave her head off and let it go back long. And she shaved her head to, to, so she wouldn't feel bad. Well, we knew, I knew right away that she was abducted. She's an uh, awesome young lady. And, uh, we just want her back. That's my baby, and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I, I was around. She liked to think of herself 
as a princess and uh, you know and all that like all young girls do. And, uh, she loved Frozen. She loved to be that Elsa and. I think she really loved to be in church because she felt a lot of love there and I think it's, you can't explain what that love is but you feel it and you know it you know when you're young and she felt that there and, and she loved everybody in that church or she loves everybody in that church I should rephrase that because they'll tear that apart as past tense and I apologize again for that I hope she gets to come home, you know, and I hope she gets to be with our church family again. Our best friend in that yeah. church was Robin. Robin would be Robin Lane, who was Summer's Sunday school teacher at the church her and her parents and her brothers went to. Now, Robin was brought up a lot early on as possibly had something to do with Summer's disappearance. I do not believe there's any truth to that whatsoever. I think Robin was probably someone that Summer looked up to. Um, Summer seemed to have a really tight bond with Robin and there's multiple videos where church is going on and Robin's up talking, singing, doing whatever and holding Summer throughout the video. So the one person in Summer's life that showed her love and affection and caring was Robin. She loved yeah, her to death. Yeah, you know, she looked up to when women that were... she come to that church, she went looking for Robin. That was her favorite person. Any woman that uh, was professional, that... Was pretty, Yeah, beautiful. she looked up to those kind of women. She, you know, they were, uh, how do you, the word I'm looking for, uh, can't think of it, but she looked up to him. She loved to play in the mud and the water and swing on her swing and enjoy dirt. I just never expected for anyone to get a hold of my heart like she has, because I try to guard my heart as much as I can, but she just, she, she holds my heart in her little hands. And I love her with all my heart. Um, if there's any way if you can find it in your heart to please release her somehow. I don't know how you might do that. I mean, I'm, you're probably scared of going to prison for the rest of your life and everything else, I'm sure. But please find it in your heart. Have mercy and find a way of letting her go. Just please have mercy on her and, you know, and, those. and her, her brothers. And she's such a loving, good spirit. Please, please don't hurt her. Please let her come home. My biggest fear is, you know, her being tormented or locked in a, a dungeon or basement or something because she loves, she loved to be outside all the time and that's that was her unfortunately her you know her downfall the boys would be inside and we'd be like where's summer why'd you leave her out there alone you know go get summer now you know and that's happened over and over again i'm so afraid that she's locked away she's such a loving heart and her thing and i'm afraid that she won't be able to you know i'm blocked away where she can't be outside or Play with a puppy or anything, love nature, you know. Or that she could possibly, you know, I, I, I don't want to think she's dead, but it's a possibility. When my sister came up missing, I was in between you. Arkansas and Tennessee. I don't know all of what happened or what did happen. But I hope that they find her too and bring her home safely. Too. Oh, yeah, there's no, there's nothing. That, I mean, she disappeared without a trace. They haven't found anything. Haven't found a body. Nothing. And 
And, you know, when you see cases like that, that's what, why I lose hope on summer. You know, I want to keep hope, but sometimes I just, I, I, I just, I lose hope. And I think, well, maybe we won't never see her again, you know. Or, so I start thinking in past tense. So, but I'm trying to keep hope up. I'm trying to keep my prayers up and all that. Josh and Sarah, last week we told you the Department of Children's Services was involved in the Summerwell's investigation. Over the weekend, Summer's father, Don, confirmed that their other children had been removed from the home. We hardly know many of our neighbors. I mean, the night Summer went missing, the neighbor swears that she and her two children heard a scream shortly before they joined the search for a now missing Summer Wells. Just this kind of shrill, almost animalistic scream. It wasn't a dog, it wasn't an animal. Didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. Jody Sue had been interviewed many times by investigators, bringing up the scream often. But the sheriff doesn't believe the scream is related to the disappearance of Summer Wells. She's been interviewed numerous times by not only my agency, but the TBI and the FBI, and we don't find anything with that complaint or information related to this case. That investigators have found absolutely no proof that an abduction has taken place. really strange that I've never seen this truck and I've never heard of it until just recently. But I wish they would come forward and explain themselves. And if you're not a suspect, they at least come forward and say what you've seen. TBI officials say in the process of speaking with neighbors about the night Summer disappeared, Officials are looking for the driver of a Toyota pickup truck who was seen in the Beach Creek community either Monday or Tuesday of last week. The pickup is possibly a 1998 to 2000 maroon or red Toyota Tacoma with a full bed ladder rack along the white with bu white buckets in the truck bed. They're looking to speak with the driver and want to stress that they are not a suspect but can be a potential witness. Summer went missing the night of June 15th from her Hawkins County home and crews have been working day and night searching for the child, but still her whereabouts remain a mystery. And this was the first time that we have spoken with her on camera since her granddaughter went missing. Candace and I got up that morning, she came out and took me to my end of the ER because my leg was messing up on me. And we were afraid something was wrong with my knee. I have a knee replacement. And she was worried that there was something wrong with it. And she took me into the hospital. I ended up getting a, a shot for it to get rid of the pain. And they prescribed me medication. Then we waited around for my prescription. Summer went swimming that day. At the horse stables, I believe it was. And then we come back, and I went in my camper, and after we brought my groceries in for me, and the boys helped with that, and, and of course, summer. I laid down, went to sleep, and I got up, and I was sitting in my doorway, <coughs> and we come out, and. Candace asked me what I was doing. I said, well, we got to transplant these little cactuses into bigger pots. And we did that, and then Summer came in and had a piece of peppermint, which is her favorite. And then she went in. She said, Mama, I want to go play with the boys. Candy walked her back to the house, and she asked the boys to keep an eye on her, and that's the last time I saw her. Mr. Lawson stated that Candace and the whole family is lawyered up. I can't speak for Donnie. 
And I know Candace hasn't because she's told me she hasn't. And I have not. If law enforcement wants to talk to me, TBI wants to talk to me, they have my phone number. Day two in a planned search for missing six-year-old Summer Wells is now over. And the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation said Team Scale previously identified points of interest in Hawkins County. The agency says much of the area where Summer disappeared requires extra time to search thoroughly. They say it's extremely steep and dangerous. News Channel 11's Ansley Daniel spoke with Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson, the lead investigator in the case. Yeah, Ansley, the sheriff told you today that... <laughs> Summer's family now currently is not cooperating with law enforcement? That's exactly right, Josh and Sarah. He also told me that the family has attorneys. Now, he did tell me that he didn't want to speak any further on the matter. Now, Summer's mother, Candace Bly, did not want to go on camera. I've never stopped talking to law enforcement. No, I have not lawyered up. I don't understand why this is being said. I can't speak for Dawn, and we are willing to do whatever to bring our daughter Summer home. Now, she also did not want to address her new YouTube channel, Dr. Phil, 